So somebody asked me about getting freelance gigs. So I'm just going to read what he sent me back in Craigslist or on Craigslist to get some graphic and web design gigs. Post in resume section, eventually pay the $5 to really post. In addition, I need to look for those who are posting in need of my services. It's been a while since I've been coding work-wise. Any suggestions? Well, you might want to try some of the uh, sites like Upwork and whatnot. Maybe reach out to local small businesses. One little trick I talk about is if you're a freelance web designer, perhaps what you could do is go to Google Maps, find local independent businesses, and check out their websites. If their websites are, are pretty crappy or they don't have a website, maybe you can start approaching them and seeing if you can help them there. That is a, a quick way to uh, maybe drum up some new business. When you're starting freelancing, it's very normal that there's a lag time to get the ball rolling. So uh, just keep pounding away. Uh, you may have to hit uh, 25, 50 businesses before you start landing some jobs. But once you get the ball go going there, usually momentum picks up in time. All right. A short one. I hope it helps. Bye-bye. So I have somebody here who's learning how to code. Let me just read his DM to me. I'm working on my real estate license while learning to code. Been in your course for almost two years now. So he's taking his time. Typically to get through my solo courses, you're looking at uh, six months maybe. If you're doing my mentoring program, it's uh, six to 12 months to get through the program. What I mean by get through the program, I mean getting your first jobs. Anyway, he, could, he continues. I see a future opportunity here in the U.S., but I feel like I should be doubling down on code. Instead, seeing I am stretching my brain too much. Hmm. If you're two years learning how to code with me, that is a long time. So I would be looking to speed that up. My learning trick that I teach is that you start with a goal of 20 minutes a day. 20 minutes a day, uh, four to five days a week. What happens is that once you start doing that, oftentimes the 20 minutes will stretch into an hour or more. So, But you just want to set up that discipline of 20 minutes a day to get the ball rolling. So yeah, if you've been at this for two years, you should have completed the entire program by now and have work. So just be a little bit more consistent, I would imagine, and you should be fine. Yeah, so when you're learning how to code as a broader principle, the web stack, you're looking at uh, six to 12 months, typically to get the ball rolling. Although I've had people go through it in three months, four months and get a full-time job. But uh, six to 12 months is a good average number to, to hit. If it takes you a little longer, no big deal. It doesn't really matter how long it takes you to complete something within reason. All that matters is that you complete it and that you get there. Because once you're there, once you have the knowledge, you have it and you can leverage it. That's it.